Adding one new question at a time directly to a quiz is one method of putting questions into a quiz. You also have the option to add questions from the question bank. It is important to note that the questions you create do not actually live in specific quizzes. They are stored in a place called the question bank. So if you accidentally delete a question from the questions page while editing a quiz, don't worry, you can add it back from the question bank. You can also reuse questions in subsequent quizzes or change up questions in a quiz easily from semester to semester. Utilizing the question bank allows you to manage your quizzes and questions more effectively. To access the question bank from the main course, click on More in the course menu at the top of the page and click Question Bank from the drop-down menu. You can also access the question bank from within a quiz you are editing by selecting Question Bank in the horizontal quiz menu. Now that we are inside the question bank, let's take a look at the categories page first. Adding categories will help you keep your question bank organized. You may want to create quiz categories based upon topics or modules. Creating categories will also enable some quiz features, such as the ability to add random questions from a category into a quiz. To add a category, click on Question on the top of the page and select Categories from the drop-down menu. Click the Add Category button. On the Add Category page, you will first choose the parent category that you wish the new category to live under. For example, I may just want this category to live under the top level of the course. Next, you will type the name of the category and you can briefly describe the category if you want. Then click Add Category. Now you are ready to return to the questions page to begin adding questions. Navigate back to the main question page by selecting questions from the drop down menu on the top. Once you are on the question bank page, create a new question by selecting the create a new question button. From here you will add questions just as we did previously in the quiz. Select a question type, then add. On the edit question page, you can select the desired category from the category drop down menu. If you do not wish to put the question in a category at this time, you can leave the drop down menu set to default. When inside the question bank, you can perform different actions by clicking on the edit link in the actions column. If you want to create a variation of a question by changing it slightly, you can use the duplicate action to first make a copy of the question. This creates a copy and takes us to the editing options of the copy. You will see the word copy next to the question name in parentheses, but you can change this. To indicate that this is a variation of a question, you can change this to something like variation 2 or some other code for you to identify it. Remember, students will not see the question name, only instructors. When you're done editing the question, click Save Changes. Under the status column, the word ready means the question is available to be added to a quiz. If you have not finalized the question yet, you can change the status to draft so that it is unavailable to be added to a quiz. When an existing question is edited and saved, it is saved as another version, as indicated in the version column. You can see all versions by selecting History in the Actions drop-down. If you want to move questions into a different category, first select the boxes next to the questions you want to move. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on With Selected, then select Move To. Then select the desired category from the drop-down menu and click the Move To button. Once you've added all of your questions to your question bank categories, you can navigate to the quiz to which you want to add questions. Select Questions in the Quiz menu to start adding questions to the quiz. Click on Add on the right side underneath the word Shuffle, then click on From Question Bank. In the Match section, use the drop-down menu to choose the category you previously created. If you didn't put questions into a category, choose Default. Click the Apply Filters button. All questions associated with the category will now be listed below. 
You can choose all of the questions by selecting the box at the top of the list or select the boxes next to the specific questions that you would like to add. You can preview a question from the question bank by clicking on the magnifying glass icon on the right next to each question. When you are ready, click the Add Selected Questions to the Quiz button to add the questions to the quiz. Now you will see that these questions have been added to your quiz. One advantage to creating categories in a question bank is the ability to add questions to a quiz randomly. Using the random option ensures that each quiz attempt is different. For example, this category has 20 questions about polynomial equations. Let's say I want to make sure every student answers two questions about quadratic equations, but I don't want them all to have the same questions. I can create a subcategory with different variations of the same type of question and use the random question option to add two of them to the quiz. Each time the quiz is opened, Moodle will randomly insert two of the questions from the subcategory I specified. To add a random question, go to the question screen, click on add, and choose a random question. From this screen, you can choose the category from which you want to add random questions. In the match section, select the desired category, then select apply filters to view the questions associated with that category. Next, you can choose how many random questions you want to add from that category. You can also create a new category and add a random question from the newly created category. Note that you will need to add questions to the new category by following the steps covered previously in this video for the category to have questions to randomly select from. When you are finished, click Add Random Question. Make sure to save your changes as you add questions to the quiz by clicking on the Save button on the top right. There are also additional things you can do on the questions page. You can change the maximum grade for the quiz and turn shuffling on and off for each quiz attempt. You can drag the questions up and down to rearrange the order. And you can adjust the page breaks for the questions by clicking the arrow icons on the left. Remember, you can click on the blue question marks to find out more about each setting. Additionally, if you scroll down to the bottom right of the page, you can click on the question mark and select Documentation for this page. This will pop up a window that shows the official Moodle documentation for the activity or resource that you are trying to configure. After you have saved all of your changes, you can return to the quiz page by clicking on Quiz on the quiz menu below the course banner, or by clicking on the quiz name and the breadcrumb links at the top of the page. It is a good idea to preview the entire quiz to make sure that everything looks the way you want. To do this, click the Preview Quiz button. This will show you the quiz as students will see it. You can leave the preview at any time. Just click on Quiz in the Quiz menu or the quiz name in the breadcrumb links at the top. When you are finished configuring your quiz settings and adding questions, you can return to the module that you are editing or to any other location in the course by navigating through the course index.